The pharynx is a muscular passageway that has both respiratory and digestive functions. As we saw that the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx both function as passageways for air and food. The pharynx as a whole is primarily lined with skeletal muscle, which aids in the propulsion of food when swallowing so that food can be directed into the esophagus. Because food and liquids only spend about one second in the pharynx, the pharynx does not function in absorption. In addition to the fact that food has not spent enough time in the alimentary canal yet to be chemically broken down into its component molecules, so there's really not much to absorb at this point. In this diagram, we see the three main regions of the pharynx. We see the nasopharynx, which we covered in the respiratory system, as that functions only as a passageway for air between the nasal cavity and the remainder of the pharynx. Towards the posterior part of the oral cavity, we see the oropharynx, which does function as a passageway for both air and food. And a little bit inferior to that, we see the laryngopharynx, which exists at the junction between the esophagus and the larynx. So next we'll examine the esophagus. Uh, the esophagus is also a muscular structure which uses contractions of the smooth muscle in the walls of its muscularis externa in order to propel food towards the stomach. The mucosa epithelium of the esophagus functions in secreting mucus, which also aids in the passage of food as well. Similar to the pharynx, uh, the esophagus does not function in the absorption of either nutrients or water because at this point, food has not been completely digested yet into its component molecules. And in addition, food and water only passes uh, through the esophagus in a matter of a few seconds. So food does not spend enough time there in order to be properly absorbed. The esophagus itself from the pharynx to the stomach is approximately 10 inches in length. And we see that its lower aspect contains a esophageal sphincter, which is called the lower esophageal sphincter muscle, which is also called the gastroesophageal sphincter muscle, helps function to regulate and control entry of food into the stomach. The esophageal sphincter muscle helps to keep the esophagus closed so that stomach acids do not move backwards and upwards into the esophagus. The sphincter will relax and open only when food is passing through it. In this diagram here, we see the esophagus at the inferior aspect of the laryngopharynx. So after the laryngopharynx continues inferiorly, it eventually will lead into the esophagus, and the esophagus will then take that food and liquid to the stomach. In this diagram of the stomach here, we see the distal end of the esophagus. Even though the diagram here does not show the gastro, the lower gastroesophageal sphincter, uh, the sphincter muscle would be located approximately here at the junction between the esophagus and the initial region of the stomach, which is called the cardia.